You ready to fight? You ready? Do it. So ever since winning season 13 of The Ultimate Fighter, the finishes have continued to pile up for Tony Ferguson. He is must-see TV, as offensively gifted as any fighter on the roster, and has as good a cardio department as anybody on the roster. We'll see how Ferguson chooses to approach this particular challenge tonight. Oh, another dynamic strike there from Tony Ferguson, former football player, baseball player, collegiate wrestler. Great picture, too, by the way, DC. This is a man who is truly a plus athlete who can do it all. That was a big check. All right, so an early uppercut lands for the boxer. You know how good his jab is if that weapon starts to find its home. Caution flammable. Especially if it comes after the jab. You get the hands up, and then you throw that strike right up the middle. Uppercut right on the bridge of the nose. A lot of damage. And that one certainly found the target. When he gets close, he throws. He lands. Fast pace here in the early going. Oh, found the target there with a straight right counter. Hook attempt now blocked, though, by Tony Ferguson. Just missed on the uppercut. Oh, nice right here. Don't back up. Push forward. Oh, and a switch kick to the body for good measure. Nice work there by Ferguson. Big knee there. Just over three minutes to go. Ferguson not having it, stays upright. Oh, he's got his back. He got to isolate a hip to try to break that lock. Breaking the lock is step number one to escape. Going for that patented rear naked choke now. Oh, he escapes. He got out. I mean, wow, that is great submission defense. Now he's starting to find his groove with the counter strikes. This is his bread and butter to keep his opponent at bay and keep him guessing. And when his opponent over engages, make him pay with a straight right hand, straight left or a jab. Nicely done with the hands there. Well, you can feel that breeze octagon side after the swing and a miss by Patty Pimbler. Just hard to know what. All right, so we catch it. Oh, beautiful reaction by him there, DC. Caught the kick and immediately countered with a perfectly timed takedown. I mean, John, when you can have a reactionary takedown, it's usually the easiest one because you don't have to go and find the takedown. You just see some. El Cucuy's trying for a submission here. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything wrong to allow for himself to get so. Close guard here. He's very comfortable here working off of his back, DC. Oh, the ground and pound is there. Oh, man, what a strike from the bottom. Ninety seconds to go in the round. Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Oh, a beautifully placed hook there. He's connected on a few of them so far here in this round. He sets them up beautifully. He always pivots. He turns on the front foot, and he drives his entire body into that hook. Oh, huge knee! One minute to go here in the opening round. All right, he's been very clean with his hooks on the feet here tonight, and it's the way he set it up that has really impressed him. Yeah, it's very impressive to see him pop the jab, pop the right hand, touch, 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 and then boom, sit down on that hook. He's going to be trying to find it again. You can see him setting up his opponent, trying to get the hands to drop, so he can drop that hook over the top. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. Solid kick right there. Oh, you land on that. Is that what we're doing here? Ferguson's cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is. Starting to bleed a little bit now. Left. 
Big right hand. Wow. What a start. Stop. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. All right, so a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. The guy survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result. Ready to fight. Ready. Round two underway. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a bar fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But oh. Oh, that'll do it! Oh my goodness. Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 11 seconds of round number two. We play the winner by knockout, Patter, the Patter.